Hey there, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. I'm the one who's going to be doing your reading and uh, just kind of talking for November 2020. And the headphones, yes. Uh, Gemini, I'm only bringing this up because you may be dealing with some distractions, okay? Now, this reading could have to do with love, friends, family, finances, health, anything like that. I'm having all of the signs here working with selenite here. This crystal is absolutely fabulous when it comes to working with your home environments, with your office environments. Um, maybe you're having to work at home and maybe you've got the kids, the pets, the spouse, and the family members that you're taking care of just all chirp 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 and it's just like okay I need my space the sounds outside okay I'm only bringing that up because a lot of you are most likely going through this all right Gemini you are an air sign ruling planet is Mercury all right some of you could also possibly be working with electronic uh, difficulties stuff like that and uh, Okay, so uh, I would like to give a big shout out to Nicole and uh, my fellow spiritual superstars out there. Thank you so much for allowing me to uh, share this platform with you. So let's just get started here. We also have a big shout out to Angela Johnson for leaving a nice loving comment last month. Uh, and I do appreciate that. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and to comment. All right, so let's just get started started here for our Geminis when it comes to November 2020. You know, cross watcher, pull up a seat. This reading can go vice versa. I'm just going to pull a few cards here, see what comes up. And again, this is not gender specific, anything like that. So um, this is po like probably uh, the third, fourth time I've uh, tried to record this. So in uh, Gemini's, I'm only mentioning this because it seems like distractions for days. And uh, you could be working in the day, working at night, and it just, you know, uh, it's a test. It really is. It's a test. And also, too, in the videos that I was um, trying to record your reading, a lot had come up about, you know, having to micromanage, if you will, maybe you're doing this or finding yourself having to do this or possibly working with somebody having that micromanaging energy. And it's not because you or the other person may be trying to be rude. I'm not sure. Maybe they are. Uh, <laughs> we'll look into it. But I feel like that uh, for a lot of my uh, Geminis out there, my air signs, I absolutely love you. Uh, you're having to do a lot of this, you know, uh, let's say, for example, maybe uh, you've got kids in sports and it's just like, all right, I want to be the coach because there's a lot of weirdos out there and I want to make sure my kids are protected. Nothing wrong with that. However, your your energy may be drained or I want to cook this and, uh, you know, I've got to look up this. So, you know, um, our, our diet's good or I've got to, you know, take care of the kids, take care of my business. If you plan on running a business, maybe if you lost a business due to all of this, possibly it's just like very, very overwhelming. A lot of us are going through it and we're all here to help and support each other, which is another reason why I love Nicole. I love Spiritual Guidance Academy and you know, uh, it's it's tough. It's really tough. And especially if you're intuitive, it's very hard to, because um, you see things, Gemini, you're very psychic. And a lot of the times it's just like, all right, I do not want to burden somebody else with my problems or fears or worries. I know this about this person. I know that they're dirty. I know that they're shysty. However, I'm not going to instill fear upon someone. I mean, uh, it's just in, however, taking time for yourself. And it's just like, Carolyn, what time am I supposed to be taking for myself i'm having to do this on my own even even if you're teamed up with a partner uh even if you're married it's just like you're both having to do this and it's very overwhelming and it's just like okay when am i gonna snap here you know um uh, i get it <laughs> i totally get it so uh let's just see let's pull a few cards and see what we've got going on for our gemini's when it comes to november 2020 all right uh this card here is says shoal and master be graceful in movement and in action all right i notice this a lot when it comes to our dear gemini's all right um you see how he's just holding this it's just like all right i swear i swear 
you know, uh, you've got the sphere right there. This is controlling and mastering your emotions. This is controlling and mastering your spiritual gifts. This is uh, controlling and mastering, you know, anything that's going on within yourself that you may be trying to work on with yourself. This is also controlling and mastering relationships. You know, you've got what it takes to do this. And do not let anyone ever tell you that you are less than, you know, <clears throat> you have the... Uh, Praying Mantis here. Uh, when it comes to the female praying mantis, we all know that story. If you'd like to look into it, uh, you know, it's a creature that the females of the praying mantis, what happens after they're done mating is the male's demise. Now, not saying all my female uh, Geminis out there doing this, you know, or, or the males, whatever. But it's just like, how come every time we, we have such this passionate, wonderful experience, I almost want to feel like I want to rip their head off, if you will, metaphorically speaking, of course, you know, not promoting violence or anything like that. Or uh, it feels possibly like somebody may be doing that to you or just kind of going in on you. It's like you can't do anything right, even though you're trying to do it all. You're trying to focus all of your um, energy on everything else and uh, getting those phone calls, maybe those emails. And it's just like very, very overwhelming feeling here, you know, um, but you are mastering this and you will be successful in all that you do. And people do not realize what goes on behind closed doors. If only they did, Gemini's, if only they did, you know, maybe they would have a better understanding of where you're coming from. All right. And this is control. Uh, this is also controlling. If people are trying to scare you, the fear mongers out there, uh, this is also being able to control any situation because you do have what it takes. And that's what really intimidates people now, isn't it? How'd you get that business? How'd you get that man, that woman? How'd you get that perfect house? Or how'd you get this? How'd you get that? And it's just like, have you been listening to anything I've been saying? No, you've been you've been doing the the hearing, the nodding, pretending you're hearing me, but not actually listening to me. OK, uh, some of you, again, may not have uh, those things. Some of you could be in situations. Maybe you're homeless, you know, looking for a place single. Maybe you, you feel like no one or no one has your back. I get it. I understand it. Been there. And that can be very hard. And it's really uh, mastering it yourself, figuring out how you're going to change your own destiny because you really can't count on anyone. However, do not uh, block the right people away and let the wrong ones. And I've had to learn that the uh, hard way, you know, uh, definitely communicating, however, not giving out too much information not telling people your plan because then you've got those dream crushers out there. There, if you will. <clears throat> All right. So let's look a little bit when it comes to love and possibly uh, some signs to be on the lookout for. All right. Or maybe uh, somebody inquiring about this. Maybe if you just stumbled across this, this message could be very well for you, whether you've got Gemini in your chart or not. All right. This is wonderful. I'm loving this. This says take a chance on love. And it says when we start to love, our lives are changed forever. Of course, that has to do with loving yourself. All right. Regaining control over your life because this is your life. If somebody else wants to live their life, do not let them live it through you. And I feel like that sometimes we may let that happen. And other times it's like, no, we're setting up our boundaries. And boy, does that really ruffle some feathers. However, you know, um, this is taking a chance for some of you that may be single out there. Is this guy or that woman really that into me? Should I take a chance? You know, should I call them? Should I message them? Uh, again, we're in interesting times. It's like, hey, I normally... This is this sounds crazy, but, you know, it's like back in the day, you used to be able to go out to places to meet people. Now it's just kind of like... Well, I'm in isolation and stuff like that, but hey, we could still kick it when it comes to, you know, maybe uh, a Zoom meeting or, you know, possibly Skyping, uh, anything like that. However, uh, I am seeing you also taking a chance, especially when it comes to relationships. If you're already in a relationship, it's just like you guys can weather the storm. Guys, gals out there, look at the darkness, look at the rough waters here and look at this. What we have, they're almost going into this love tunnel here of fabulousness because it's just wonderful. You're the the weather looks so much better right there. Some of you could also maybe possibly thinking of moving 
All right. Uh, also, too, this is really a uh, twin flame energy. I'm really liking this. You guys are a team. And even though relationships are not perfect, all right, I really feel like this is a very good match. You will overcome this situation no matter what this is. Okay. For some of you out there. This could be like, I'm not so sure. This seems risky. This seems like I, I exciting, adventurous, but I don't want to get hurt. You know, very understandable there. Again, this could possibly be for some of my uh, in that category. Should I stay? Should I go? Is this person really that into me? I've given them chance upon chance or vice versa, you know, and are we going to make it? This is a positive knowing uh, saying, yes, you will. If you want to, in this case, the ball is in your court. Do not let anyone push you or bully you into this. All right. But definitely take a chance on love um, for my singles out there. If you're like Carolyn, I don't know what you're talking about. I've not met anyone and it, the future is looking grim and, and gray and dark and this and that. And I, I'm not so sure about this. And it's just like, OK, well, you keep putting that out there. That's exactly what you're going to get back in. A lot of your empaths, you're like a sponge, you're absorbing this energy that really isn't yours, you know, so don't own that. And uh, this is really great. I am almost picturing someone out there like a, a friend or a friend of me or something like that. And they're just like, you know, you shouldn't date so and so they're not good for you or how can you like that person and this and that just like, hey, listen, this is my life. OK, I'm a Gemini. <laughs> I'm good looking. All right. Uh, people love me. And you've got your uh, choices, Gemini. I've said this, uh, I don't know how many times before, but you have your choices here. So you may find people may be getting jealous, jealous of you. Okay. This is them possibly taking a chance on you. Maybe if they're acting a little bit uh, out of control or just kind of, how do I word this nicely? Maybe if they're being like really snippy with you, uh, possibly it may have nothing to do with you. Maybe it's something that they are dealing with. Perhaps they're scared with everything going on and you could be the strong shoulder for them to lean on. However, this is looking very good. I'm really liking this, possibly a reconnection. Sometimes when we break up with somebody and then we reconnect a few years later, all right, we were meant to separate from that person in order to come back together, in order to build that relationship, uh, come together a lot stronger. So that's wonderful. I'm really liking that. Somebody out there may be like, oh, I don't think so, Carolyn. They did me wrong again. It's just like, okay, working on yourself, finding out, you know, possibly were there mistakes you made, uh, were there mistakes on uh, how you've been attracting certain types of people into your life. And I've had to do it too you know, cutting certain friends out of my life. And it's just like, boy, did they get angry. Boy, do people get angry when they do not get what they want, don't they, my Geminis, huh? And it, it's just like they blame everything on you. And really, it's their stuff. It really is. And I understand your tears and uh, feelings, everything that you're going through, do not go blind to source. It does not go blind to your angels. They see what's going on. Justice will prevail. All right. So for your very last card here, actually, we are going to some of you could also be working with water signs when it comes to water signs, possibly Pisces, possibly Scorpio. Um, also to maybe even cancer. All right. Very last message here. We have the King of Cups. All right. And this one had kind of jumped out here. So this is really good. I'm really liking this. The Page of Water. Intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and very friendly is somebody you may be on the lookout for or could be a representation of yourself. Uh, a new person enters your life and a relationship begins a new phase. So congratulations. Uh, big shout out to anyone that's getting married out there. Uh, maybe found out that you are going to have a child. That's wonderful. Uh, possibly moving in together, you know, getting away from all this, you know, possibly buying a house in the in the woods or the mountains. And, you know, so you don't have to deal with all that noise and all that stuff out there. Heightened psychic abilities. The world is yours. Look at that. How wonderful that is. So the King of Cups here, some of you could also be working with, uh, you know, possibly a fire sign too as well. I'm pulling up with some of these cards. You could be looking at Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. But this person here is just, look at the look on his face. He's just like, uh-huh, yep. 
uh, it's like that S eat and grin. And it's just like, okay, okay, I see what's going on here. And I'm just going to wait and see what I bring in because I know that this person is really messing up and I don't have to do anything about it. Let karma deal with it. Let somebody else deal with that because it's not for me. Again, don't own that stuff, that BS that they may be trying to bring into your life because everything that you have built is yours to own and not for theirs for the taking. All right. I'm seeing wonderful things and uh, thank you all so much. Things will be calming down. I do promise you that. So uh, be prepared for November. I can't wait to see what you all have to say. Thank you so much. And until next time.